Hi everyone, how are you? It's Dr. Emily. Thank you for tuning in to the webinar, Stress and the Polyvagal Theory. This is the supplemental video that is going into a couple of the exercises. Um, these exercises were focused around resetting the ventral vagus nerve, so getting the client or the patient into a uh, self-regulation state in a restoration state or what really Stephen Porges refers to as a social engagement state of the autonomic nervous system. Now these are some great techniques that I learned through Stanley Rosenberg in accessing the healing power of the vagus nerve. I highly, highly recommend this book, an incredible read, the way that he uses the polyvagal theory as a body worker and as a healer. So please do check it out. The way that I integrate it is uh, slightly different just because I'm not a body worker. I see patients with chronic pain, obviously I'm a movement specialist and a podiatrist. So you can pull it in in the way that works for you and your specialty. So first one that was referenced was what's called the basic exercise or how you're doing your primary recent of the ventral vagus nerve. You're going to have the hands that are placed behind the head. So you're going to intertwine the fingers, placing the hands behind the head. Now you're lying on your back. For the sake of this, I'm going to be standing up. It's just easier to describe. And they're at the base of my skull, right around near my occipitals. And what I'm gonna do, or the purpose of my hands, is that it's maintaining and keeping my head from not rotating. Because we're going to be doing an eye movement, sometimes our clients will want to turn the head when they turn their eyes. So we're positioned like this, we're flat on our back, and we're going to take our eyes and we're going to look in one direction. Now if I'm looking at the right, I'm gonna hold my eyes looking to the right. I'm gonna make sure that my head is not moving by maintaining the position with my hands and I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking. I'm gonna look nice and relaxed throughout my body until I either swallow or we'll do a yawn. So I, I swallow or a yawn, it'll be spontaneous. And then you'll repeat the same thing looking in the other direction, hold it to the left or the other direction until they spontaneously yawn or swallow. You will see that in some of the clients it takes a while and in others it's really fast. It is a reset that I like to use with my patients before they start doing their diaphragmatic breathing, which is the foundation of almost every single one of my programming. Now the second exercise, the salamander, this is the modified salamander. We will do it standing, it's actually done standing. Now step one of this is that you wanna maintain the head in proper alignment. So you wanna make sure that if they have a forward projection of the head, which you can often see in a sympathetic dominant person or personality, they're kind of geared up for fight or flight, their head is going to be pitched forward more. You wanna make sure that they're stacking the head in line with the spine. When they maintain that proper head alignment, you're then going to start by bringing the eyes to the right, and then the right ear goes to the right shoulder. So the eyes stay looking to the right, right ear to the right shoulder, and you're just hanging out in this position, nice and relaxed, keeping the eyes, keeping the ear to the shoulder, holding this for about one minute, and then back to the center. Same thing on the other side. Again, eyes would of course go over to the left. And then you're going to do eyes go one direction, shoulder to ear goes the opposite direction. So if I'm in that stacked position, my eyes are gonna go to the left, and then my head is going to go to my right shoulder. So eyes one direction, ear to shoulder the other direction, holding for a minute, back up, obviously repeat on the other side. Now the purpose of that exercise or the salamander is that you're trying to open up the cervical alignment and the cervical outlets for the different cranial nerves. Oftentimes when we have improper neck position or cervical position, that can start to impede the way that the cervical nerves, or the cranial nerves, my apologies, start to leave through the brainstem. So it's a big part of the healing process is optim optimal cranial nerve function. You obviously need to have proper cervical alignment. Now the full salamander, you would actually do on your hands and knees. I'm gonna lower the camera so that I can show this to you. And it's going to involve a little bit more with the T-spine. So we're gonna push this forward here. Hopefully this will all stay. So we're going to be in this position. And what I'm doing is 
I'm going to do the same thing with my head and my neck. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm stacked. My eyes are going to look to the left. My left ear goes to my left shoulder, and then I'm actually gonna start going into my spine. So I hope that you can see, I'm gonna rotate that in a moment. So I'm rotating into my thoracic spine, holding that, my eyes are still looking to the left, and then we'll go back to the center, and then we repeat the same thing on the other side. If I rotate so that I'm facing the camera, it's a little close and I've got myself in a corner here, but you'll be able to tell with the doggy toy. So same positioning, heads in line with the spine, ear to shoulder, and then start going into the T-spine. So you're just making that curve a little bit more into the thoracic spine, still making sure that the eyes are going to the direction that the ear is to the shoulder. Again, holding for one minute. These are great resets that again are done at the beginning of the session. They could be at the start of someone's day. They could be um, throughout the day, or if you feel like the client is getting triggered in some way, you would want to integrate these to allow that reset. I hope this helps and gives a better understanding of these resets that again are integrated through Stanley Rosenberg's Accessing the Healing Power of the Vagus Nerve. Thank you.